In 2017 the Chicago Bears had plenty of players who were entering contract seasons. Before the year began the team came to terms on long-term deals with left tackle Charles Leno and defensive end Akeem Hicks. Both players had strong seasons, rewarding the organization for getting deals done quickly. Others like Kyle Fuller had to prove himself in his final year under contract. The Bears had declined his fifth-year option last offseason, making 2017 a make-or-break season for the young cornerback. Fuller went on to have one of the best seasons of his young career. Chicago placed the transition tag on Fuller and he eventually received an offer from the Green Bay Packers. Chicago matched that offer and brought the young cornerback back to the Windy City. Fellow cornerback Prince Amakamura took advantage of his one-year deal and was able to turn a strong season into a long-term deal this past offseason. As the Bears head into the thick of the offseason with a lot of new pieces in place there are many players who are already on the roster set to battle for another contract. The Bears currently have 34 players on their roster, more than one-third, who are in the final years of their deals. Some are still working off long-term contracts while others are trying to prove themselves on one-year deals. Just below we take a look at the most important players who are entering this season on the final years of their deal. Will they pull a fuller and prove themselves or will they be shown the door after the season? Only time will tell. Bryce Callahan has flashed in his Bears career. Chicago gave him another opportunity to prove himself this offseason by hitting him with an original round tender as a restricted free agent, signed as an undrafted free agent out of Rice in 2015 by the Bears, Callahan has quietly become a solid member of Chicago's secondary. As a rookie he appeared in nine games with three starts at the nickelback position and ended the season with 21 tackles, one sack and four pass deflections. The Bears moved him to the outside at times during the 2016 season and he appeared in 11 games with 10 starts and recorded 32 tackles and 5 pass deflections but struggled with injuries. Last year he appeared in 12 games with 6 starts, finishing the season with 25 tackles, 1 sack, 6 pass deflections, 1 forced fumble and 2 interceptions. This season will be huge for Callahan if he can match the type of production while staying healthy for a full season. Ron Grassu was supposed to be Chicago's starting center by now. Taken in the third round of the 2015 NFL Draft, Grassu has struggled with injuries and performance in his young NFL career. As a rookie he made eight starts that were filled with mixed results. The following year he had a shot to begin the season as the starter at center before an ACL injury he suffered in the summer ended his season. Last year he saw action in six games with four starts. The pure athleticism is there for Grassu but he struggles with strong defensive linemen at the point of attack. It may even be difficult for him to make the roster this summer. Cody Whitehair, Kyle Long, James Daniels and Eric Kush are locks to make the roster on the interior of the offensive line. Grassy will be battling with the likes of Earl Watford, Jordan Morgan and Bradley Sowell for a spot. Eric Kush entered last offseason with a strong chance at starting with Kyle Long's rehab up in the air. He signed a two-year deal with the organization after putting up a strong showing in his first year with the team in 2016. Unfortunately for him he tore his hamstring during the offseason and missed the entire 2017 season. A sixth-round pick of the Kansas City Chiefs in 2013, Cush spent time with the Chiefs, Buccaneers, Carolina Panthers, Houston Texans and then the St. Louis, Los Angeles Rams. 
He was let go by the Rams before the 2016 season and landed in Chicago. He appeared in eight games with four starts for the Bears that season and played well along the line of scrimmage. He stands to be the team's top reserve offensive lineman this season and offers flexibility with his ability to play both guard spots and center. If he proves to be healthy there is a strong chance he returns as it appears the organization is high on him and his abilities. Bobby Massey signed a three-year deal worth $18 million with the Bears in 2016. Since joining the team he has struggled with inconsistency. At times he has played well as a run blocker but his biggest weakness is in pass protection. His footwork needs improvement, as does his hand usage when squaring off against athletic edge rushers. In his two seasons with the Bears he has also failed to start all 16 games in a season. He has missed one game in each of the last two seasons. Massey has been serviceable for Chicago but far from great in his two seasons. He will need a big season in 2018 in order to earn another contract from the team. Unlike some others on this list, Aaron Lynch is working off a one-year deal. As a rookie in 2014 with the San Francisco 49ers, Lynch finished the season with 23 tackles, 6 sacks and 4 pass deflections. In 14 games the following year with 13 starts he recorded 38 tackles, 6.5 sacks and 3 pass deflections. He then saw his production and availability drop off the next two seasons. In 2016, he appeared in seven games and recorded 13 tackles and 1.5 sacks. Last year he recorded just nine tackles and one sock in seven appearances. Lynch has an opportunity this season to forge a new identity playing under his former defensive coordinator Vic Fangio. Given the lack of proven options at the outside linebacker position he can put himself in the position of getting a large payday after this season with a strong performance. It has basically been a prove-it year every year for Kevin White since entering the NFL. The former West Virginia standout missed his entire rookie season in 2015. He backed that up in 2016 by only appearing in four games before missing the rest of the season. Last year he started the season opener against the Atlanta Falcons and then missed the remainder of the year after breaking his shoulder blade. His five career games he has caught 21 passes for 193 yards without any touchdowns. For White the 2018 offseason is yet another opportunity for him to prove himself, Chicago declined his fifth-year option this offseason but it is going to be difficult for him to put together a season similar to the one Kyle Fuller put together last year after. His option was declined, Eddie Goldman has done a lot of the dirty work for the Bears since joining the team as a second-round pick in 2015, as a rookie he was thrust into the starting role at the nose tackle position. In 15 games with 12 starts he recorded 22 tackles and 4.5 sacks. In year 2 he struggled mightily with injuries, only appearing in 6 games with 5 starts. A high ankle sprain limited him that season, resulting in him recording 18 tackles, 2.5 sacks and 1 pass deflection. Last season he was able to stay on the field for 15 of the team's 16 games, recording a career-high 44 tackles and 1.5 sacks. Goldman's health has been the biggest concern since he joined the Bears. When healthy it is obvious the defense functions more efficiently with him as their nose tackle. It would not come as a surprise to see him get a contract extension before the season begins. Adrian Amos finally took a step forward last season for the Bears. A fifth-round pick in 2015 out of Penn State, Amos started all 16 games as a rookie that season. 
He capped off the year with 67 tackles and two pass deflections. He entered 2016 as the start once again, appearing in 15 games with 14 starts. He finished that season with 65 tackles, 5 pass deflections and 1 forced fumble. This past year he found himself back in the starting lineup after Quentin Demps went down with a fractured forearm in the third regular season game. In the 13 games Amos played in his recorded 69 tackles, 3 pass deflections, 2 forced fumbles and hauled in an interception. He received praise from numerous outlets for his efforts last season and stands the chance of earning a new contract even before the season begins.